Right, Super Stokes got a new GoPro, so the footage is going to look pretty sweet. I'm just getting ready to go to Fraser Valley. Got an enduro this weekend. So looking forward to it. Just getting packed up. So I've got a whole ton of things here. Camping stuff. All my biking stuff. My bike's at work, so I'm not forgetting that. It's not, not just missing it off the car here, so yeah. Let's go uh, have some fun today. Alright, we made it to the ferry. It might be a little windy, but it'll be a good test for the camera, microphone, see how it is. Heading over to the mainland, try and squeeze a quick pre ride in tonight. Um, can't promise anything, but we'll, uh, it'll be nice to get one stage out of the way tomorrow, we'll see how it is. Uh, pretty disgusting with the smog over towards Vancouver there, it's pretty gross. It's getting worse, it seems. But it's a beautiful warm day and it's nice and sunny, so looking forward to getting there. Aha. All right. Eli's having tire issues already. Yeah. <laughs> Losing air out the front. Ding grim. Again. Not working. So we've got some fixing to do when we get to the campsite, right? Yeah. Oh yeah. Well, we've made it to camp. It looks like James is the winner of the tent build. Yeah, <laughs> He's got it all ready, all good to go. These guys are like a little bit behind here. Yeah, we can switch tents halfway through. <laughs> These Where guys. Is this judgment coming from? <laughs> That's what I'd like to know. These guys are taking their time here with their tent, but yeah, you know, put a bike in this tent. they just, we just, she just drove here, so it's, uh, it's, it's, it's okay. We can let her off. We, uh, we wanted to ride when we got here, but you know, we're an hour away from sunset, so I think we're gonna have to skip that. We're gonna lose the light. We just wanted to try stage five out first, but yeah, no such uh, luck, I think. Maybe we can try and get up there first thing in the morning and see what we can do. All right, the tent is all set up. That's where I'll be sleeping for the next couple nights. Hopefully I get a good sound sleep, because the race, um, today's Friday. We've got tomorrow to practice. Saturday and then the race on Sunday, but I think my race starts at around 8 a.m. So I'm hoping to get some good night's sleep tomorrow uh, Maybe a bit of a lie-in tonight, but let's go meet some peeps. So this is Eli Getting his tent ready You're gonna win you're gonna win this race this weekend Probably not, <laughs> Probably not. gonna give it a go though So Eli's in the under 15s and his amazing mother is here as well, Alyssa, well, who hello. <laughs> drove us here and uh, sorted out this camp spot and everything. And then Eli's grandparents are here making food for us, which is unbelievable. Check out the setup here. These guys have got all the tablecloth and everything all set up. Amazing. Got their little wagon here, which is great. And then uh, over here we have James. James is racing pro man. And he's just fixing his bike. <laughs> Getting some grips on. Looking good. So the other day I managed to get uh, some new grips on this guy too. Just some little ruffians, ODI ruffians. I threw a new chain on it and I did the clutch on i'm just running slx but i got uh took the clutch cover off greased the clutch in there so it's shifting down a little bit better uh threw a new chain on cleaned out all the bits and bobs here okay. and today i added a new uh spacer in my rear shock a nice thick one this is like the big chunky one which is in case i want it and i've got the medium sized orange one in there and then there's a little pink one that i pulled out so we're going to test out the suspension tomorrow See if it made a difference. And now it's time to go eat. Oh yeah, what a beautiful start to the morning. Yes, 7.30 in the morning, just got up. Um, about to have breakfast. Just drinking my early morning water to hydrate. And uh, yeah, came down to the lake here at the campsite. Camping just back here in the trees. And Cultus Lake, beautiful right here. So last night was uh, challenging. We had to take uh, Eli's tire off and he has an insert on it. And um, it took three of us like an hour to 
get his tire off and work out some uh, some little holes there was a problem with the uh, how it had been taped so I fixed it we got some gorilla tape on it and uh, hopefully it's held um, we got the tire back on but we didn't put the insert in because it was just so hard uh, three of us had such a trouble getting uh, getting it on and off and so anyway we left the insert out so we're gonna do some pre-riding today but we can't do it till three o'clock in the afternoon because of the cross-country race um, there is a blind stage that we're not allowed to pre-ride, but we can walk it, so that's what we're going to do. Okay, so we're all rounded up with breakfast, it was awesome, and now we're going to head for a track walk. Alright, let's go! Sorry, Kyle, I'm just going to my Track walk! <laughs> so stoked. Oh, some, some handlebars, just, you know, <laughs> yeah, just to practice. Yeah. yeah. Oh no, Yohan did have handlebars. Right? Yeah. Did he run down the track with handlebars? Yeah, yeah. last yeah. year he did a. Uh, oh, nice. Line, <laughs> ran down a line <laughs> with handlebars. <laughs> Let's try it. Grab, grab Thank a spare you. pair of bars. What? We got everybody in Dude, the car. Awesome. Yep. We're allowed to drive up, but not ride down. So. Can you catch Eli back there? Yo, he's there. <laughs> so nobody was allowed to pre-ride Black Forest Ham, which was stage four, so we had to resort to walking it. It's dusty already. All right, here's a steep, sharp corner. This is pretty bad, eh? What's what we got going on here? Pop that root with the grooves on it. Ba -bum. That's it, man. Has to be. That is uh, very steep. Okay, so here is the feature that they warn about. We've got a warning sign right here, and then there's two options. We've got the bridge in the back, and then a easy way to the left. Let's go take a look. Ooh. That's a good feature. It's not bad, eh? So I won't bore you with the whole track walk, but we spent the next hour or so just trying to find some difficult lines and trying to make some sense of them all. All right, guys, so there you have it. Stage four pre-track walk. A lot of fun. Uh, we picked a bunch of lines out, but, um, you know, it's all well and good walking it, picking the lines, but in the heat of the moment, when you're going fast and trying to make a decision, who knows if I'm going to stick to those lines. So I did manage to pre-ride the other trails a good night's sleep and now we're heading into the first stage of the day for myself and the longest stage five okay thanks
かよい。Guys.
now I'm tired. So at this point I've ridden 13 kilometers and it was time to climb an hour and a half up to my second stage and ride stage one of the event. All right. Move So things seem to be going pretty well for me and I uh, decided to open it up for this stage, stage two, but that may have been a mistake. I'm not going to catch it, but I just want to see your best. You never know. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck. Throw the dice. Okay. Cheers, man. Oh! 
Holy fuck! How did that happen? Well, let's take a look, shall we? I knew this drop was coming as I rode this trail yesterday, but with the number of riders that have already gone down it, as I jumped off the edge, I realized that there was an exposed route and the sand was super dusty. As I landed a front end heavy, the suspension threw me and I lost all traction in the front, heading over to the, the uh, stump. I managed to get free from the bike, which was a good move, but the bike hit the stump, causing a huge dent in the frame, which I only noticed later on. I was very lucky here to get away with just a couple scratches but it definitely slowed me down for the rest of the day, taking it easy and uh, yeah, not wanting to break any bones. I definitely dialed it back. All is well. That was a bit random. All right. Find some more, yeah. Okay. All right. I think it's steady now then. So what you can't see here is I have a pretty good graze on my left arm and it's swelling up really good. Huge veins swelling up and uh, I'm a little bit concerned. So I head over to see the medic just to make sure everything is okay. Just that little bit of swelling I'm yeah, just concerned just about. That. I just want to touch it. Yeah. All I needed to do was wash it off and uh, get some cold water on it uh, soon, which happened after stage right. four. Nice to see you. Yes, likewise. <laughs> How are you holding up? Yeah, I had a big crash on the last oh the last stage and dented my frame. Oh my god. Yeah. Okay, we'll be safe on this one. I'm taking it slow on this Good. one. You're on. Thank you. Okay, so because I was still a little bit shook up, I lost my concentration and forgot to put the camera at the right angle. So I messed the recording of this one up. So we'll skip it for now. All right. So, I'm feeling pretty good. The sorest part of my body right now is my backside from being in the seat so long. The, uh, the crash was pretty frightening actually. I uh, thought well, it was all gonna go the wrong, in the wrong direction after that as I was flying through the air, but landed kind of lucky, but the bike didn't. The bike's got a big dent in the uh, down tube, so. Uh, a little bit upset about that, but what can you do? Climbing up for the last stage, stage three. Probably another half hour climb here. Maybe 40 minutes. So, uh, yeah, let's see what happens on the last stage. All right, man. Thanks so much. My confidence was totally shot after that crash and I just couldn't get back into the psychological space to race. So uh, I was pretty much just limping down a lot of this, um, but I was having fun nonetheless. This weekend was the first time using this new GoPro setup and yeah, I got the camera angle wrong again on this one. So let's just skip to the end of this trail. I cannot tell you how good it felt to finish at this point. All I had to do now is ride down the hill, get myself a coffee, 
some more water, some food, and uh, we were good to go. Yeah, nice. So I came to this race expecting to be last because the competition is so good. These guys are super fit, awesome riders, and I'm really stoked with my result overall. Eli smashed it and came second in the U15s and James 22nd in the Pro Men. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked the video, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe for more races coming up this season. Thanks for watching.